Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 3 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 2 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So in this part, we are going to talk about configuring Jenkins 2.0. So what is this actually? If you have watched our previous video, which is part 2, we did the installation of Jenkins, but we did not really configure anything. We just installed the plugins and we created a user and we did a, a login in the Jenkins, that's it. That's the only thing we did. But right now we are going to quickly see some of the most useful features that we can enable or understand how Jenkins has so that we can use Jenkins for a large enterprises as well. All right, so let's configure it. So for that, I'm gonna flip to our Windows 10 virtual machine. So, so far in our previous video, we just did the installation of Jenkins, that's it. That's the only thing we did. So I think there should be a timeout by now if I just do a manage Jenkins. There we go, it takes me to the login. So I'm just going to log in once again. And you can see that we have our Jenkins running as a var file over here, just a recollect. Right, and it, it also says that there is a problem with the GitHub plugin, which is okay. So once you click this Manage Jenkins, it will be bringing you to this particular page, and you can see there is a new version of Jenkins is available after I download the previous version. So you can also upgrade that if you want, right? And now the one thing which I am very very interested in to show you is quickly see how we can do a setup of our global security. For if I go to the configure global security option over here, the second option, you can see that it will show you uh, information, something like enable security, and you can set the JNLP agent to this particular port. For instance, right now there is no JNLP port agent, but uh, again, guys, the agent thing is something which we'll be discussing later in our course. Just keep informed that here's where you can set the port for the agent to run the job for you in a multiple machines, right? So you can enable that over here. And then you can also set the realm of the Jenkins. For instance, if you want to use Jenkins own database, which is what is happening right now, this option will be selected. So if you want to delegate to a server container, you can select this option. Or if you have your own local lightweight directory access protocol, you can set this LDAP option enabled, right? And similarly, you can set some other options like plugin manager, use a browser for metadata downloads and hidden security warnings, etc. right? So these are some of the global security options which is available out of the box within Jenkins. So it will enable you to use your own organization security using this LDAP option. And now once again, let me leave this and if I go to the manage Jenkins again, you can see there is something called as global tool configuration. Very, very important option here because this is where we are going to do a lot of configurations. For instance, if you're going to set the JDK path, you can set it over here. If you have to compile a project from a GitHub, then you're going to use this guy, the Git, right? Similarly, if you are going to run the ant and if you want to set the installation path, you can set it over here. So these options, you can set it, or if you have the environment variable set for these options already, you don't really have to set anything over here. See, basically, even if the git.exe, it is searching from the C colon program files, docker, resource slash bin, or system32, or within this particular folder. So it is looking for the git.exe in all these folder, but it did not find the particular exe file itself. So again, this global tool configuration is very, very important because if you remember in our previous slide, we were showing the prerequisite tools to be installed for Jenkins. We'll be doing that as well in our next video, right? So these are some of the global tool configuration section. This page is very important. And then, the last option which I'm gonna show you very quickly is gonna be this configure system option. This configure system option is again very, very helpful because here is where you can actually set a global configuration for your Jenkins. For instance, if you want to set the password for your GitHub, then you can set it over here. And this password, you can use it across the Jenkins. And similarly, if you can come down over here, you can see that there is a Jenkins URL so you can change that if you want and there is a github server You can see there is a github server that you can add to connect with your Jenkins 
and there is a darker options again these things are something which we'll be discussing later and if you come over down here you can set the executable for the shell you can configure the emailing option so that you can send an email once the build is being done or once the testing is done it will trigger an email again these things are something which we'll be discussing later in our videos of this course right so these are some of the great things that you can configure or here in this particular page for the configuration of jenkins so these are something just very interesting and the last option maybe i forgot to say that is going to be the manage user so you can create number of users you want for instance if you click this create user this is the same kind of page that we did in our previous video for creating the admin user right the same kind of stuff here you can just add a user here and then you can set a permission for that user as well so all those things you can do using this particular page the using this manage Jenkins option and you can see there is something called as Jenkins own user database so basically it is running its own user database it's not something running other database like LDAP or something like that right so that's it guys once again this is a basic configurations option which is available in Jenkins just to showcase you how the configuration options is available in Jenkins but we are really not configuring anything yet but once we start digging into the build deploy and test we will be using them a lot right so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day